Hi, Quadcopter 101 here, out at the Mojave test site. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests, actually, to evaluate these new three-bladed propellers that were designed and intended, I guess, or being sold for the uh, SEMA X5C and also the JGRC H8C. Unfortunately, you know, I, I had bought these um, to test on my SEMA X5C, but unfortunately, recently I sat on my SEMA X5C and bent one of the propeller shafts. Uh, I'm waiting for spare parts. Luckily, the spare parts are a dollar. Unfortunately, it's got to come on the slow boat, so it's going to be a month my X5C is going to be down for the count. But I did notice these also fit on my uh, Lish Toys L6052. So, uh, I threw them on last night, and that's what we're going to do today. Evaluate these new three-bladed props with my Lish Toys L6052. Now, hold on a minute. i got to go get the uh, old blades. I want to show you a comparison of the old blades to the new blades. Now, this is the stock blade that comes with the L6052. By the way, these are installed via a single screw that goes through the top of the propeller shafts. That's how they're installed to the quadcopter. Um, they don't have any side holes in them, so if you want to put them on a quadcopter uh, with uh, side screws, it's not going to work. Um, they're top screws uh, fastened onto the shaft. Uh, but notice that the diameter is much smaller, or some, quite a bit smaller, than the original uh, propeller. Um, hope, I guess the idea is that you don't need to be have as wide a diameter propeller if you've got three propellers versus uh, or three blades versus two blades. Um, they have aerodynamic shape to them. Uh, this one seems to have quite a bit of pitch, uh, particularly in inboard. This one does similarly, but oops, we dropped it. Back to it again, but not as much pitch as this particular blade. This is actually looks like a well-designed blade <laughs> that came with the L6052. Uh, but let's go and put it into a flight, and I'll give you my thoughts on how it performs with these uh, tri-blade propellers. Quadcopter's been bound, going straight to high. Let's see how this works. Uh, it works, but uh, I noticed right away that it uh, doesn't have as much zip <laughs> as the stock propeller. It took quite a bit of... That accelerated quite slowly, actually, compared to what the stock propeller can do. Um, there's the funnels. It works, <laughs> but uh, it seems to be a little less zippy. Quite a bit less zippy than the way it performs with the stock blades. Let me try it in low. Go into low. Oh, what I do like about it though is uh, throttle control. Um, altitude control is very smooth. You know, with the stock quadcopter, I have a hard time maintaining a level altitude. It's very, you know, either go up real fast or come down fast like that actually <laughs> I'm also hearing some vibrations in it it's a little more noisy which means uh, these are somewhat unbalanced here take a close look let's bring it up nice and close to you hear it somewhat noisy which means unbalanced props It's easier to hover though. Okay, going back to high or high. Let's try flying backwards with it. Let's try flying sideways with it. <laughs> yeah, they work, but I'll tell you, there's less zip which means they're not as efficient as the original props that came with this. By the way, can you fly sideways? <laughs> I keep demonstrating that. I wanted to keep making this point. I'm doing this repeatedly in some of my videos that 
there is no front and back on a quadcopter. They fly equally well in any direction, even sideways, or even backwards. Or even the other sideways, or diagonally. <laughs> yeah, they definitely don't have as much zip as the stock propellers. Backwards diagonally. Can you fly backwards diagonally? <laughs> Sure you can, as Mr. Rogers would say. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to fly the whole battery with this. Again, um, I'm not particularly a fan right now of these props. A little less zippy, they're a little less efficient, I guess. Some noise on them. They work, but... If you want a three-bladed prop, yeah, these will work. Let's send it off into space. I'm going to send this as high as it... No, I'm not. <laughs> I was going to send it as high as it goes, but I'm not quite sure what happens up if it loses signal. I haven't really lost signal on this yet, fully lost signal. So I don't want to do that with a climb. I would do that with a horizontal flight with my wife out here to go retrieve it for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> or to help. Actually, I send my wife out. When I do that, I test range, I send my wife and dog out, and they just mark the spot where it crashes out of here in the desert so I can easily find it when I do a range test. Yeah, the props work. It's not as it's quite as zippy. But I can, it seems to make uh, much tighter funnels though with this. I don't know why, maybe because it's not as zippy. <laughs> the funnels are very tight. Look at that. You see that? So if you're into doing funnels and want to impress people with real tight funnels, yeah, this this might be of use there. These new props. But really, I don't want to fly too much with them after this battery's dead. I'm, I'm taking them off. Because <laughs> I don't like that vibration noise. I'm worried what that might do eventually. Okay, my lights are flashing, so it's... Boy, I like that bright red LED on the back of this thing. Let me bring that in so you can see that. And go to low, too. Let's bring it in so you can see these. Look at that LED, the red one in the center. You can see that from a good distance. The others are flashing too, but that red LED, always keep your eye on that back end of this because that's the low light indi or low voltage indicator and I'm landing it. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. That was the three blade of props actually designed for the, I guess intended for the X5C um, flown on my Lish Toys L6052. Hope you enjoyed the flight.